Welcome to PPG YT, our YouTube channel. This week our focus is on to mental health. My name is Ruben and I'm going to take you through some breathing exercises because breathing is directly connected to your mental well-being. I'll first talk, start with a little talk to get you understand why we do certain stuff or why I will make you do certain stuff. And then we'll get into a practical breathing drill. So to start off, breathing is something we do automatically, so you don't have to think about it. But that's also the problem, because if we are stressed out, we start to breathe faster. And you know from yourself or maybe the colleague next to you, we start to breathe fast and high in our chest, which is really inefficient and makes us breathe fast for longer times. Because if we think about breathing, we think about oxygen. We want to get oxygen in, but CO2, so carbon dioxide, is also very important because if we take in oxygen, our body uses the oxygen and produces CO2, which has to leave the body in the process of making energy. Now, if we talk about breathing, it's the amount of or carbon dioxide we can have in our blood before it hits a certain threshold. And if you have a certain amount of CO2 in your blood, your brain will get a message that you have to breathe again. So if we have a super high threshold for carbon dioxide, you don't have the trigger to breathe really fast. Now, if we take this to the stress scenario we started with, if we have a lot of stress, we breathe fast. So uh, this means we never have the chance to build up carbon dioxide in our blood because before it really builds up, we already blow out all the carbon dioxide in the system. And we want to have a high threshold for carbon dioxide because the higher it is, the slower you will breathe. Now, we can test the amount of carbon dioxide in or our threshold really easily with a bold score. If you're interested, go on Google and test it yourself. But today, I just want you to experience what breath does on your mental well-being. So to begin with, we're going to do a couple of super fast breaths. Hyperventilation almost. You can check either on your wrist or in your neck if you can feel your heartbeat going on. And now if you go and breathe in through your mouth, nice and fast, you will already feel your heart rate going up. So you can see that your breathing and heart rate are correlated. But also if you do this for a while, so if you do this for half a minute, your brain will start to be all over the place. So you won't feel super focused but you will feel slightly panicky even. The other way around, if we go for a super slow breath, so we breathe in for a five count and we breathe out for a five count, you can immediately feel your heart rate slow down. So with the exercises we're gonna do, we're gonna slow down our system to get in a nice and relaxed state, both in our body, but also in our mind. The first exercise we're gonna do is a big fat inhale through our nose, which we're gonna hold for three seconds, and then we blow it off until you feel the air is out. We're gonna repeat this for four times, like every exercise we're gonna do today, just to start off and calm down the body a little bit. So you can start to sit or lie in a comfortable position. We're gonna breathe in totally as far as we can through our nose. Hold for three. One, two, three, and now blow out fully until you're empty. Then we're gonna inhale fully. Hold for one, two, Three, and relax. Then when you feel the urge to breathe, we get in. As deep as we can. One, two, three, exhale. 
and relax. We're gonna breathe one more time. As full as we can. Two, three, and totally explode. Let all the air out. You may even feel a bit calm already because with a big breath, we activate our diaphragm, which activates the nervous vagus, which is a nerve which activates our parasympathetic nervous system, which is the rest and digest, so our relaxed state. Now we've done this, I will go into a correct breathing technique shortly before we get into all the other exercises. If we breathe, we want to use our diaphragm, our pelvic floor, and they work together like, uh, like a balloon almost. If we pull down the diaphragm, we relax our pelvic floor, and then on the exhale, we contract the pelvic floor and relax our diaphragm. So the air is actually pulled downwards and then pushed upwards out of your lungs. But if we breathe, we don't want to breathe purely to the front with our belly bottom, which a lot of people are being taught. So we don't want to push the belly bottom as far forwards as we can. But I want you to open up your full chest. So I want you to open up your rib cage, which you can feel if you put your fingers around the rib cage with your thumbs to your back, fingers to the front. If you take a big inhale, you feel the ribs moving to the side, to the front, and even to the back. So we open up the cavity in our body to open up the lungs as far as you can. So it's not pushing our belly button forwards like we do with a lot of brill, drills where we want to push that hand towards the ceiling. Now I want you to open up to the front and sides and back of the body so we use the full capacity of the body to breathe. We're gonna get into our first breathing exercise. I call it focus reset. I use this one during the day when I want to reset my focus. We're gonna start for four rounds with a four seconds inhale, four seconds outhale. I want you to breathe purely through your nose. It has a lot of advantages, which I may tell you later on, but just for the purpose of the practicality of this lecture, we're gonna get straight into the breathing. In the second round, we're gonna go for four seconds inhale, four second hold, four second exhale, four second hold. And finally, we're gonna go for a four second inhale, eight second hold, four second exhale, eight second hold. You will feel your body calming down and your mental clarity clearing up. So I will count, you guys can either lie down or sit like I do. We're gonna breathe in through our nose and exhale out through the nose as well. First breath in, there we go. One, two, three, four, and we exhale, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, we hold, one, two, three, four, and we go out, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, we hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, once more, in, two, three, four, we hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, 
four and hold. Two, three, four. We go in, two, three, four, and hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In, two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and out. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In, two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and out. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very last. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and out. Hill. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. You can come to your normal breath. You can stay lying down if you like. I want you to check in with yourself, see how your body feels, but also how your mind feels. You might feel hot, your head may be way more clear. And as I told you before, I really like to do this exercise once my brain takes over. It really puts me back into a more calm state, but also a more clear clarity into my head, so a more mental state where I can focus myself on my work after the exercise. I want you to stay in this position. We go to an exercise which I like to use to relax or even before I go to sleep. We're gonna, call, we're gonna start off with box breathing, which is a four seconds in and a four seconds out. We're gonna breathe in through our nose. We're gonna breathe out like a whistle. So as if you blow your air through a straw. The first round is gonna be four in, four out. Second round is gonna be eight in, eight out. And then we're gonna to go to 12 in, 12 out. So we slow down our breath. And the more we slow down our breath, the more relaxed your body will become. So once more, we're breathing in through our nose and we're breathing out as if we blow a balloon or blow some air through a little straw. So we can really easily elongate that exhale. I'm going to start off with a four in, four out in three, two, one. So in, two, three, four, and out. In, two, three, four, and out. In, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four, and in, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four. We go to eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once more, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, even deeper to 12 seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, and whistle, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's go, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and out, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and in, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and out, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and in, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and out, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and relax. You can bring back your breath to a normal rate. If you do this on yourself, you can add seconds as far as you can go, so you can even lengthen your inhale and exhale further to deepen into your relaxation. And it also helps to build up that carbon dioxide level, which you can sustain in your blood. So it will help you to slow down your breath in your daily life when you're not paying attention as well. For me, this one really works when I want to relax or when I want to fall asleep. Maybe you even fell asleep, it's also possible. Um, then I want you to go and explore your body and the amounts of air we can take in, in this last breathing drill we're gonna do. I call this one a breathing game. In the beginning, I let you guys put your fingers around the rib cage with a thumb to the back, and we went all the way in with our air, so 100%. And then we went all the way out. In this last exercise, we're gonna go from 100% of fully inhale and exhale to smaller amounts of air. If we breathe fully in, we use both the belly, but also the chest. And if we go down in capacity, we will go only to our chest because the belly is not needed anymore. And in the end, we're gonna breathe with as little air as possible as if you are a mice that hardly needs to breathe at all. So I don't even want you to feel your nostrils moving. You can find a relaxed position for this last drill. We're gonna take four breaths of five seconds in, five seconds out, first on 100% capacity. So I want you to feel your belly and chest expand as far as you can. Four times, five seconds in and out. Then we go to 75% where your belly still moves. Then we go to 50 where only your chest will move. 25 where your chest hardly moves. And then to the little, the smallest breaths you can make. Hope you guys are ready. Find a comfortable spot. And we're gonna start with 100% fully in, in three, two, one, five. Four, three, two, one. All the way out. Two, three, four, five. Fully in. One, two, three, four, five. And fully out. Two, three, four, five. Fully in. Two, three, four, five. Fully out. Two, three, four, five. Fully in. Two, three, four, five. Fully out. Two, three, four, five. Four, five, seventy-five percent. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Seventy-five in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Seventy-five. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Seventy-five in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two three, four, five, 50 in, only the chest, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five, 50 in, two, three, four, 
five, and out. Two, three, four, five, fifty in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Twenty-five in, even less. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Twenty-five in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Twenty-five in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five, and in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. And the smallest breath you can make. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. And here you are, mice. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Even smaller. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Even smaller. Two. Three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Again, take a little moment to check in with yourself. How do you feel? How is your mind? How does your body feel? By calming down our breath, your arteries will open up, so your hands and feet, which may normally be cold, may turn into hot pieces of human flesh. I hope your mind feels way more at ease. I hope you guys will have a very nice day. You can take these drills, maybe you liked one more than another into your daily life. And I would really recommend doing one of these breathing drills when you wake up in the morning to get your stress levels down, maybe you had a bad night or a bad dream and halfway during your day before or after lunch take five minutes to calm your system down and then before bed as you might may notice right now it's a really good one to fall asleep but also fall asleep deep so mainly if you wake up during the night it's a really good one to do this before you fall asleep so you won't wake up that frequent or less frequent than you do right now Thank you very much for joining me at PPGYT. Check out our other videos for more mental health tips and I see you around.